Ohio State University doing an open line radio program with Hugh Ross, the astrophysicist. And a woman phoned rather angrily. And let me pause and say, I understand why they feel this way. And I know why she was upset. The only thing is none of us had ever mentioned the issue. She brought up the abortion issue. I said, but seeing you brought this question up, I'd like to ask you a question. I said, why are you for it? And she said, it is my moral right. I said, all right, then respond to me this way. I said, many times I stand on a university campus and somebody gives me an illustration like this. A plane is in midair, suddenly it crashes, seemingly for no reason, it explodes, and strangely, 10 people live, 70 people die. It's an act of God, according to the proverbial usage. And people say to me, what kind of a God is this? 70 die, 10 live, uh, God is immoral in doing that. I said, now can you help solve this conundrum for me? If indeed that is an act of God, and 70 die and 10 live, and he made that choice for it to happen, you're calling his choice immoral. I said, when you have the opportunity to determine whether somebody lives within you or dies within you, you're calling it your moral right. I said, can you explain this conundrum for me? There was silence. We have to ask some very hard questions. I have written a paper that I'll be glad to present these options. There are only four possible options with what that child is in the mother's womb, as far as I know. That is something like it is a life and you don't know it. It is a life and you do know it. It is not a life and you don't know it. It is not a life and you do know it. Take those four options and the best you can come out with is the possibility of criminal negligence, i.e. If you don't know where your two-year-old boy is on a farm, would you go around with a pitchfork jamming it into a haystack, see if he's hiding there? Why? You would not want to risk hurting him. Now, having said that, the hardest thing for the Christian, and for me, I speak now personally, to me it's a very treasured thing that this life is so sacred and so vulnerable. It is not the mother's life, it is not the father's life. Geneticists tell you that. From the moment of that conception, this is a brand new entity. I do not know of geneticists anywhere who have said this is not a life. This is a completely different entity. I think what the world has to answer is, what are we going to do if that is a life and we are taking them up by the millions? What are we going to do if that is indeed a life and we are destroying them by the millions? Now, somebody can then turn around and say, Ravi, this is a pluralistic society. You have no right to impose your ethic upon me. I accept that statement in 99 out of 100 times where I have the quandary is this. If indeed my responsibility in life is to guard the sanctity of another life, ought not I to do my best to protect that life too. As difficult as that is, and I know it's a divisive statement, I will do everything in my power to talk to every human being about the sanctity of that life. Mm.